One of the things I've been so interested in for the longest time is cosplay. But not me as the cosplayer, but me as the person capturing the cosplayer. And it's very hard to work with Koreans because most Koreans don't want to work with you unless you're like some really famous influencer, like 100,000 followers or something. But luckily, my friend Joe and his daughter agreed. So I bought this cosplay from Chihiro. Uh, some of you may have watched Spirited Away. I really want to go to Jofun, which is a, a city in Taiwan where this where they got the most the inspiration for, for Spirited Away. But unfortunately, because of the virus, I can't travel. I thought, why not find some places around Seoul similar to that of cosplay to kind of give that otherworldly effect. So I using, I'm using my infrared camera for this one. Infrared does not normally look very good on skin tones. That's one of the problems with it. But I think in this case, it really added to the picture quite a bit. So I'm really happy about that. Anyways, we went around Seoul. There are some places I was really interested in. The place that I was most interested in was Jogyasa Temple because usually they have a lot of lanterns. Unfortunately, those lanterns are mainly available during Buddha's birthday and that's way past then. But I was able to take lots of beautiful pictures around the city either way. Now this is Jian. She is my friend Joe's daughter. On Instagram, he goes by Zen Kimchi and he actually does tours around the city of Seoul. If you're ever in Seoul, you might want to check him out. And his daughter really did me a favor by doing this because nobody else would do it. She's actually quite cheerful. And I'm going to give her a shout out and follow her on TikTok because I deserve to give her that much for going out, especially it's getting kind of cold. And she let me take her photos as Chihiro. Now this is kind of challenging as she's not really a model, but I think she did really well. Uh, the same with me, I'm not really a portrait photographer. I'm, I guess I'm more into backgrounds, but I think I managed to take some pretty nice photos. Now the hardest part about these pictures is the lighting. Because with infrared cameras, it's very it's very hard, very easy to overexpose and if it's not lit properly then everything looks like it lost all the contrast. When you take infrared photos the contrast is just lost and some of you might think why don't you use a, um, a flash but this is infrared light and the flash does not give infrared light so that doesn't really help much. I thought about using uh, one of those reflectors but because I'm doing the backgrounds, uh, I need to shoot kind of wide. And if I had someone with a reflector, they would be in the picture. So it's, for me, it's kind of a challenge. But still, I think the photos came out quite lovely. Now, I really love anime and I really want to work with more cosplayers, even if it's not in Seoul. If like someday I travel to your country and you're a cosplayer or you know a cosplayer, send them my way because I want to work with more artists. It's really fun, you know, I really enjoy it. I like doing things that other people don't do. I had in mind this vision of trying to recreate like a poster of uh, Spirited Away with uh, Jian. I think I kind of got there, you know. Ideally, I wanted lots of lanterns in the back so it could look like an actual poster from Spirited Away, but I'm actually really happy with the results. Now, the only thing I'm really gonna that I was kind of stressing about is the skin tones because it's really hard to to bring back a little bit of color without making it look really unnatural. Uh, you don't really get that much leeway of editing when it comes to infrared pictures but since we're going for like the more creative and the more artistic vision then I think it's okay if you're not like perfect like if you're not doing like the perfect photos because like I say this these videos, I guess the average photographer will look at them and say, oh, the white balance is off, blah, blah, blah. They, they don't get the whole artistic thing. This is more for like artists or people who like anime, like me. And these days I feel like my videos are probably not so much for photographers, but more for people who are creative. 
And if you're into art, then I do have free art packs in my website. You can download them below. And if you're a photographer and you like my pictures, I have a ton of free uh, wallpapers on my website too. So I'm really happy with the way this came out. And actually, I got an email telling me that they mailed my new filter. Uh, it's the Aerochrome filter, so it turns everything crimson red. Uh, right now, I'm using the 590 filter, which kind of turns everything kind of pinkish, kind of yellowish. This one is going to turn everything crimson red. Ah, and there was one moment where I actually took a photo without any filters, and the colors were very strange. They're like a mix of normal and a mix of pink. I kind of like it, you know. I've taken photos like that before, but I think the lighting was just perfect today. So, yeah. Very cool photo shoot. We got to explore Seoul. We walked through Insadong, Tapkol Park, and Jogyasa Temple. I'm very happy. And she was doing this her first time. So, I hope we can see more of her in my videos. And thanks to Joe for being the cameraman. So, see you around and thank you for watching.